you get those corners that peak on the quarterback, but sometimes you can run a hitch and go, which we do, where it's a five-step pitch, and it shows the numbers and it goes, and sometimes all you need is the quarterback to punt to get the safety of the quarterback. So that's all we're doing here. Uh, we're not going to slow the wide out down, we're just going to have the quarterback thing. And all that did was hold the safety, it didn't get the corner off. It's a catch, show the row, cross up, or kick it to the rest of the road. The good thing with Rod did right here. Oh, yeah. yeah. But the best thing he did here was you see he got outside release, pushed to the boundary, he's fighting to get back in. You, know, you got to get back in that three yard area. Lean back in, lean back in. And a, lot, a lot of people say, why would you want to get back in where your coverage are? Well, you want to get back in and give yourself some room to adjust the ball. And now we can adjust back out. Oh, that's a big mistake. Have you written that? Too much, and he winds up pushing off. I think mean, head button on the change up is good, but doing it all the time, he gets in the habit of pushing off. He ought to just he ought to work his hands more off, but he wasn't seeing about pushing off. He got away with it sometimes, sometimes too. What you see with the red and black? What are you right here? Red eye, black eye. Red eye, too. But we've also done it.
here's the two deep look. Here's where I spend my highs. Again, two safety look slants are as good as you can have because these guys go play inside there, get inside there, get inside there. Sorry, she's coming flat. Yeah, you ought to come a little flatter. My key is she's coming flat. Sorry, you're you're just getting the ball. And Rob, I don't think he can do better. I don't think he's spreading out. what happens when he doesn't trust the quarterback. He don't want he ought to squeeze the trigger right here. Keep running through there and just go to the second window. Especially the quarterback through the rally. Yeah, the tall guys have a tendency to baby step. They just and they go full speed to do that. Still, he's got here.
How many buses are going to be? You're discriminating. We did a lot of buses. Yeah, yeah. I'm discriminating. Well, we'll see, uh, you're all kind of, yeah, I'm here. Here, they have a good size here. See how the linemen and fat boys are waiting. When he steps away, we ought to be already ready. The only guy we should be waiting on is, is the, uh, the referee's whistle. So they're still getting down and Woody's still up. So we can go a little faster right here. I don't know if we didn't call in here. Now here's an example of uh, what we did earlier. Uh, we might have done later this pretty good. Track call. He looked over, he should have gave the wild out to the uh, Graham Robinson, and then if this guy came, no hand off, just turn the road out there. They, they do it later on. Just make sure we're married, man. Everybody's on the whole side. Always good. Yeah. That's a whole lot. Yeah, I just think we're going to keep it there. Here's that li uh, limbo. We, we, we took too long to snap. See, if he had snapped it on time, <coughs> Sometimes this referee was holding him up. See, he was telling the quarterback, you got to wait until I blow the whistle. And he's too lazy to get the out of the way. But if you go ahead and let a snap, look at the little quick out there right here. So he, jumped, he jumps you out. So you want to go ahead and open it up. He's talking about Rambo's limbo, dog, man, Yeah. All they do is zone reach. So what are you telling me about claws? You, you're telling me that yeah, if we run out of Rio, Rambo and Limbo is real or real is the claw rock for the for the box of eight. Here's the other one. Here's the That's the nine packet that we have. You're going for one sprint out. Still on his shirt. He's looking over. Yeah. 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 This is kind of tough. But for the 
Tiger Shady knows with, with instead of drafting three, we drafted five. And Thomas plus eight takes down a linebacker. He actually got a bust for a trap in the pocket. And that was good. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, that's a good Call. We know it's man coverage. You know we can keep the hitch on. Uh, we like the slant versus man, so we can break the slant. Is that rip bar? back up on first and ten, especially if you, you know, you don't want to get tired in one day. Either three wide or four wide. All right, go deep. I'm going to drop the one, two, three. You know, we got gap protection on the tight end back, so it's easy protection. Run vertical. Second down, change wide out. Run vertical. Third down, change wide out. Run vertical. By that third down, that's the one that's going to be run by in a hurry. It's going to be 20 yards deep. So tight end, tight end. Anytime he's Anytime we got a drop back. Tight end again, he's going to be gap protection. Yeah, he's going to be gap Because if you add him in man, it's a seven man, and this seven, that's a lot of people that could be screwed up. Right. And then? We have no more than six man protection. And we usually only go five man protection. So five man, six man, and gap. That's why we drop that. That's a good job getting in. You got seven right there, though, did you? Well, this is. Got the back. Well, but this is gap protection. Right, yeah. Man. Okay, okay. We got seven guys blocking, but there never won't be fans. Okay, you got seven man. man. Okay, you got it. Yeah. That, that's your, actually, your, that, that's how you're going to max protect right there. Mm-hmm. That's how we're going to max protect. Which you can, the problem with gap protection is you can always have a guy come free if you send two outside. Right. If you send two outside the tight end, the tailback will get the first one, the last right. guy will come free. So we're going to throw on gap protection. We're going to throw on the third set, but he ain't going to get the deal. You see what I mean? Yeah. So we're not, anytime we're man, we're going to take it from where he has a little step by it. We have to hitch up, whatever. Then we're going to go. So you know our timing, you got right? It's a catch and throw, a three and throw. All right? If we're going to do anything five yards quick in, it's a catch and throw. Anything is a 10 yard route. A speed cut out, it's at 10 yards, and a hook route, it's going to be a snap, one, two, three, and throw. So it's three and throw. If we're throwing a 15 yard route, a curl, a flat, a square in, it's going to be three and a hitch. One, two, three, hitch up, and then throw. 
at the most of what I'll ever have a city's waiting on a on a deeper or square to develop or to run a post flag post. It'll be three, two inch, one, two, three inch, inch, and throw. There ain't no time we will ever have more than one, two, three inch, inch, and either he's gone or the ball gone. So it's the time point. Why don't you guys count 2.5 seconds? You're going on three, it's all three to hits, and you're taking it off. That's why I said alignment and pass protection. Just get run over slowly. You'll be fine. And just don't, you know, let a guy come free or run around you free. See, this is the second vertical as well. He should have came back here. So you're in vertical, take right wide out on vertical.
right here, he didn't do a good job of sticking. This is that right here, our Bible. Lay on and stick. That's how you get separation, by laying on the stick. Same principles hitched just a little bit deeper. I'm going to throw a crook. 